Hello Capricorn, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your love, romance, relationship reading and it is for January to February 2021 for the sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you well Capricorn. Let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching energy or message for the next month or two in terms of love, romance, relationships. So what do we have, Angel Spirits Guides, for our lovely Capricorns in love? January to February 2021, please. What is the overarching message for Capricorn, please? What is the overarching message for Capricorn? Thank you. So we have the Five of Wands there. Okay, Capricorn, so I pull three cards. The first card is you, your challenge or issue in love, romance, relationships. The second card is advice from spirit third card is the future outcome should you take the advice and then we clarify the cards and go deeper into the message and it won't resonate with everybody so just take what resonates with you okay so what do we have for capricorn please angel spirits guides there we are capricorn energy we have the four of pentacles temperance card card of sagittarius is advice from spirit and we have the two of wands in your outcome so let's clarify the cards on the table for our lovely capricorns please love romance relationships only thank you angel spirits guides january to february 2021 thank you what do we have for capricorn thank you okay there's two there's way too many there here i'm just gonna let's clarify again what do we have for capricorn please angel spirits guides thank you so we have the judgment card The Moon card clarifies the Temperance card. And the Page of Cups clarifies the Two of Wands. Bottom of the deck we have the Seven of Cups. The Five of Wands is a card of struggle, Capricorn. It can be a card of tension, conflict as well. But for me, it feels like a struggle. Um, what are you struggling with? Let's clarify this five of wands, please. Let's clarify this five of wands. Thank you. I have the king of wands. It can be a person, male or female energy. Generally, this is the Leo for me, it can be Aries, Sagittarius, or somebody who embodies the energy of this person. Um, King of Wands is a go-getting energy, very much in their power, understands how to bring success into their life. Um, but it feels like there's struggle or conflict with somebody. Tension, conflict, struggle in dealing with somebody. And it's getting to the point here, Capricorn. I'm feeling in this situation the four of, of four of pentacles is is you. I mean, this is the sun in Capricorn. So there's definitely an energy in your challenge of there is definitely some kind of decision that you need to make and it's a decision that will stay with you for some time 
The Four of Pentacles can be a card of self-preservation, self-protection, can be a card of a concern or reluctance to make a decision or to deal with a situation as well. But it feels like there is a need to assess what is of value in your life now and what isn't of value in your life. Because there is definitely some tension, some uh, can be conflict. So the judgment card when it appears, it is an energy of, it's a form of release, it's a form of learning lessons. Um, it's the card of stepping into your light, but how you step into your light is the decision. It can be the judgment call, and it feels for some of you, you're being asked to make some kind of a judge judgment call. But again, with this Four of Pentacles, it, it could be some kind of, of reluctance or self-preservation energy that's going on here. But there's definitely this energy of you have two paths before you here and it's being resonated it's, again it's resonating at the end of this reading as well there are two paths before you you have an opportunity to give somebody a second chance or go in a new direction and it feels that is the judgment call for you because the judgment call is the, five, uh, the judgment call with the five of wands is something can spiral out of control. Um, it, it, it's a heated energy, it's fire energy, the five of wands. So there is a need to deal with this now. It's the call to action from God, the divine, the universe, you know. Uh, we have the angel Gabriel, you know, with the trump, that, that you're being called on to take action. So definitely an energy here, Capricorn, of the need to deal with something. The moon can be a lack of clarity. can also be about deception, lack of truth, but it feels in this energy that there, there's kind of lack of clarity, but also an energy of trusting your intuition when you have lack of clarity with your normal senses this is when that sixth sense kicks in and guides you on how you need to take action it's interesting energy here capricorn because the temperance card is 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 a card of how do i find my way through this um, you have opposing extreme energies, you know, sometimes we have these two cups of fire and water and it's how you find your way through extreme opposing views. And again, how do I find the solution? How do I see the way through? How do I bring pro progress? How do I calm troubled waters? You know, how do I reduce the tensions? And it's almost kind of like there's a lack of clarity in how you find the solution but the message here is intuitively you know how to deal with the situation intuitively you know how to restore balance in in your life i mean the temperance card can be a card of reconciliation as well how do i make peace with somebody or is there an opportunity for making peace i don't have clarity if we can reconcile this you know can we give this another go or do I go my own way and it might well be those are the decisions that you're waiting for now but either way the moon is the card of hidden blessings you're being guided through your intuition through times of shadow that's when the the, the intuition God the universe the divine angel spirits guides guide you through your intuition towards what is the right path for you and it feels for some of you I mean the the page of cups can be intuitive messages and Again, the Seven of Cups, definitely an energy of choices now, uh, considering your options. You know, uh, it can be that kind of energy. And sometimes there's confusion with the Seven of Cups. But again, with this one cup appearing, you make the right choice by trusting your intuition. This is the direction that you need to go. So there is a powerful decision here, Capricorn, at the end of this reading finally seeing the way forward and taking action and remember this person only grabs hold of one wand they leave the other so they choose what they want and what they don't want they choose their path 
and it's an empowered energy you know this is somebody who is ready to bring new growth um, new opportunity new potential into their lives you know from a position of making choices being empowered to shape their world as they want it and i love the world that the world is in your hands here because again there's a feeling of something potentially aspiring out of control or having enough of some kind of tension conflict with somebody here and again this is where you're taking back that control you know you're shaping your world as you want it here and uh, making decisions choices seeing how to make progress in a situation and choosing your path so there are definitely two paths available for you the message is that you're being guided every step of the way here to find the solution through this situation and get balance back into your life and definitely this energy there are options available to you in times of confusion when there's lack of clarity your intuition is telling you which way you need to go the solution now this could also be gifts peace offerings apologies as well um, so it might well be for some of you that is featuring in the decision that you're making somebody wanting to make amends somebody waving the white flag somebody offering some kind of apology as well um, so it definitely feels in this situation there is some kind of like tension you're dealing with you're going to find the way through it intuitively you're being definitely guided instinctively you know what you need to do and it's an instinctive month or two for you trusting your instincts on how you need to move forward with this situation and the decision will become clear that's for sure on whether to give somebody a second chance or go your own way you know i'm going to pull one more card let's pull one more card for capricorn please let's pull one more card for capricorn any other advice for Capricorn, please, in terms of love, romance, relationships for this reading? And if the King of Wands isn't a, isn't a person, it is an energy of take the lead. You know, this is a leader energy. Yeah. Again, two of, one, two of um, Pentacles, which is Capricorn energy. The two of pentacles, it can sometimes be, you know, uh, a situation of uh, feeling overwhelmed. And it's definitely an energy of this is well within your ability to take control of, to, to bring back into control, to bring back into balance here. Um, but the two of pentacles was also about the choice. It could be a choice between two and it two paths. Um, two opportunities you know it's that kind of energy so it could also be making some kind of choice decision so there's definitely this energy of, of there are two paths available to you and I definitely feel for some of you the choice will become clear um, it and I love the page of cards because the pages are the beginnings of something new the beginnings of change so for some of you it feels like you're choosing based on what this cup is offering you whether that's going your own way towards new happiness or whether that's going your own way and reconciling with somebody giving somebody a second chance and it feels like that's what you're reconciling with here that's what you're dealing with here that's what you're grappling with but i definitely feel in this situation here capricorn the the path will become clear to you so interesting energy um you know i'm going to pull one more card Let's pull one more card for Capricorn, please. Any other advice for Capricorn, please? Lovely. Oh, yeah. <laughs> No, so I mean this is a nice energy because the six of pentacles is a card of giving and receiving it's a card of finding I mean certainly in relationships I feel for some of you you're finding common ground uh, this is both sides and certainly in terms of love romance relationships it feels there is an opportunity for both of you to kind of like put the effort into into making this work and again you see the scales of balance again we're getting a lot of balancing energies in this reading 
trying to get working at your relationship, getting balance back in your life, giving and receiving, and um, giving and take. You know, this is give and take. This is can be a card of compromise, give and take. But it definitely feels like it's bringing harmony back. And again, the Ace of Cups can be about renewal, uh, renewal of love, emotional renewal, finding joy again, the beginnings of a new path, finding happiness, joy again. Um, the other the other kind of like meaning with this Capricorn, because it is a general reading, the Six of Pentacles can also be about it's your time to receive from God, the universe, the divine. So for some of you, it definitely feels in this situation you are being guided towards new happiness. Whichever path you take, it feels that there is a guidance towards new happiness. But for some of you, there is still hope, I feel, in, in a relationship. But there is action that's needed. It feels there's something, action that is needed. In, it feel, I mean, judgment is generally immediately um, in order to bring something back in control. And it might well be because you have the opportunity to restore harmony in your relationship and find love again you know so and find common ground find love again so it feels very beautiful okay so final message for capricorn thank you Final message for Capricorn, please. Final message for our lovely Capricorn. Thank you in love, romance, relationships. Oh my goodness. <laughs> We've got starfish intuition. Listen to your soul's truth. Think less, feel more. Wow. I did say, I mean, there's powerful intuition throughout this reading. Um, and it's definitely leading you towards, oh, the cup of joy, absolutely beautiful energy, the cup of joy, uh, newfound happiness, new beginnings, new phases, next levels, call it what you will. Um, it's an awakening energy as well. Uh, so lovely, lovely energy of, of finding happiness, having gone through some tensions. So I hope you enjoyed the reading, Capricorn. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month or two for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.